many of the major issues that are facing the country today, while there may be a partisan divide on the way in which certain, say, laws are applied or what legislation might be introduced, a lot of congregations are united on the theological principles that underlie the issue. For example, take the plight of the poor. You know, certainly if you're a part of the Abrahamic traditions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, you certainly are all called to have a great deal of concern for the poor. Well, you might express it in different ways. It might take root in different legislation or different proposals, but there needs to be, in all those traditions, a bedrock concern for people who are in that situation. So it seems to me that uh, a religious congregation can point out that the differences can be bridged. In fact, that would be a very helpful thing to do in today's partisan environment in Washington. In terms of getting your story out to the media, the first thing is understand it's not just your story. Understand it has a wider significance and say what you believe that is, the wider significance for society. Secondly, since we live in Washington, D.C. and it's a political town, if there's any way in which your story intersects with the political order, use it. That is definitely an attention grabber. Third, if there's any way your story is exemplified in the life of some individual who has a compelling personal narrative that relates what you're trying to get across, that's the way to start, particularly if that person can speak well and articulate well in radio or television. I think another thing that that media people that are connected with religious groups have to keep in mind is the media is not just print radio and television anymore. It's blogs, it's the internet, it's Facebook, it's Twitter, it's all those kinds of things. And I think we, it, all of them have to be made use of in order to get one's point across.